What's up YouTube? It is Tech with Ryan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your system memory in the Lenovo ThinkPad T420. Now you are going to need a set of tools today. If you don't have one, I recommend this kit by Zool. I'll link it below in the description. But yeah, let's get right into it. So my ThinkPad is currently running the stock four gigabyte memory, and I am going to be upgrading it to eight gigabytes today. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is flip your ThinkPad over and unplug the battery pack. What this is gonna do is not allow any power to go through the system while you're working on the inside. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is unscrew this screw right here. Now, once you've unscrewed this, you're just gonna wanna flip it up and take it out. So as you can see right here, there is already a stick of memory in here. This is what came with the actual laptop. So what you're gonna wanna do is take that out or leave it in if you wanna keep it in. So basically this is your access to this RAM slot and there's another slot underneath the keyboard. So we're gonna need to get to that slot. So just in case if you're not familiar with how to take out laptop RAM, there's these two prongs right here and right here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is pull outwards on these two prongs and notice how the RAM sticks up a little bit. You're gonna to wanna to just pull it out right from the position that it's in. And that's how you take out laptop RAM. Now, if you only have one stick of RAM that you want to put in, then all you're going to need to utilize is this part of the laptop. So you're just going to want to take your old RAM out and you're going to want to insert your new RAM exactly how you took it out. So you're going to want to put it in, push it in at about a 35 degree angle and then push it down till it snaps. Now you're gonna wanna remember to make sure that you have the little cutout in the right spot. You do not wanna put your RAM in like this because it won't go in and it might actually damage it. So you're gonna wanna put it in the correct way, line it up, push it in, push it down. Now, if you need to utilize the second memory slot, you're gonna want to unscrew this screw right here. You'll notice that there's a little keyboard sign right here that's pointing directly to that screw. Unscrewing this screw will allow you to take your keyboard out and access the memory slot below the keyboard. So once you've taken the screw out, you now have access to the underside of the keyboard. So what you're gonna wanna do is flip your laptop around, open it up, and push down on the keyboard while pushing it towards the screen. So you're gonna wanna push down on it slightly. Do this very carefully. You don't wanna screw anything up on your keyboard. So push it down, push it towards the screen, and from here, you'll notice that you can lift it up. So it's going to make a few clicks when you lift it up and do this very gently because there is a ribbon cable underneath. So here's the ribbon cable attached to the motherboard. And now you have access to the second RAM slot right under this little flap of paper. Once you have access to this second memory slot, if you do have an additional memory stick that you want to put into your laptop, you're gonna wanna do it the same way that you put in the other memory stick. So you're gonna wanna put it in at a 35 degree angle, push it, and then push it down until it clamps in. So now that you have the RAM in, you're gonna wanna put the keyboard back and the way you do this is make sure that these edges are underneath the plastic shell and you're going to want to push it with your hands like this push it towards your screen 
After doing that, you're going to want to push it down flat against the laptop and then pull it back to where it was previously. Now, after doing that, you can put the screw back into the little keyboard screw thing. And you could also put this back plate back on after you screwed in the keyboard screw. Now, after you've put both or one of the memory sticks back in place, you can put your battery pack back into your laptop, lock it in, open your laptop and turn it on. And for the purpose of this video, I will be showing you the BIOS just to show the new memory that we put in. So now we have 8,192 megabytes of installed memory. Um, I hope that this helped you out. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, please give it a like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.